Holy Wire Mod here. This is tutorial 5A in the How to Build series where we're going to be taking a look into automatic gun shops. So let's start by getting a shipment for a pump shotgun out. And notice it has 10 by default, most shipments do, and an image of the gun floating above it. And that's going to indicate the spawn position of the gun. So when we press E, that's where the gun spawns. Alright, so let's take advantage of this by creating a way to separate the inside of the gun shop from the customer so that the customer doesn't get all your money and all your shipments. Alright, so we have this plate just above the halfway point and that's so that this can slide underneath and we can take advantage of the whole gun spawning up there situation. So now this permits the customer to get the gun from inside the gun shop without actually being inside the gun shop. So they're not going to be there to take your shipments, which is not profitable. So notice I use the use key though to trigger that. And the use key can be replicated in wire by the user. So anything within this white line, uh, if when the user's fired, it'll be as if I'm pressing my use key on that object. So it will spawn a gun, in other words. Now we're also going to need a ranger. And a ranger is going to say, hey, is there anything to even use there in the first place? So we only need the output distance, show beam, and default zero. So the ranger here will then say, okay, if the range is greater than zero, then that means there's an object there. So that means you have a gun in stock, and we can tell that to the customer. Now, next you have a button. Now, this is not necessary for the most basic of gun shops. However, for more advanced gun shops, you need some kind of user input to say, hey, I'm ready to buy this gun. So that's what this button's for. And then you need a money to actually, or a method to actually get money, not a money to get method, that'd be kind of weird. So let's move this over and I'll show you uh, how to get that money in there. So first I recommend getting, if you don't have it already, the dark RP money pot. And what this does is it takes money in and then spits it out this side at all. It's always at this side. So if I put right here on the right hand side, um, I'll put some money in and then I'll press E. You notice it spits it out the right hand side. Now if I move that right hand side to maybe this angle and then I put that same money in and then press E. Now it spits it out right there. So we're going to take advantage of that consistency. We're going to say no collide this is the PHX plate and that's going to give us a method for the customer to get money inside the shop without actually being in the shop. So we're going to put the money here, press E, and now the money's in the shop. Alright, so let's link all this together and make the shop automatic. So we're going to have an expression to chip, and I'm going to put a debugger on here so we can get a clear idea, representation of what's going on. We're going to go in here, get rid of everything except the inputs and outputs, and we're going to need the input button for the button ranger for the ranger but we're going to call this distance because we're really looking for the distance of the ranger and then money user is going to be the output and spawn money we'll just call it that for now now we're going to need an if statement which i cover in tutorial three expression two series so if the button is pressed and the distance is greater than zero and money is greater than or equal to 200 then we want spawn money to equal one user to equal one and timer which I cover in tutorial 13 expression 2 series a timer called reset after 1000 milliseconds or one second it's going to activate this statement so if this statement was triggered by the timer reset then we want spawn money to be reset back to zero and user to also be reset back to zero so this acts as a reset so we can buy more guns and do it all over again alright so now let's wire it up so we're going to have money to store the amount on the money pot then we're going to have button see the button right here then we're going to have distance to distance on the ranger then we're going to have fire on the user to user right here and finally we're going to have spawn all 
to spawn money. So now notice I'm pressing the button, but there's no money in the money pot, so no gun's gonna come. However, when I take money and I put it in the money pot, now it spawned all the money. So I have four hundred dollars here and the gun only cost around 200 or I want it to cost around 200 and I only want to take 200 from here so what I could do then is instead of saying store or spawn money one put spawn money 200 and instead of wiring this to spawn all wire spawn amount to spawn money and now it's only going to spawn $200 instead of the full amount so your customers can use the leftovers for other guns. That's if you're a nice gun dealer. All right, so here we go. So now see, we only have 200 while the remaining 400 is still there, which permits the purchase of multiple guns. All right, so that's going to conclude a basic introduction of how gun shops, automatic gun shops work. We're gonna be going into more detailed methods for each part of these, uh, this gun shop. So money collection methods, getting gun to the customer and uh, changing price and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave some in the comments below, uh, suggestions included. Until then, I will see you in the next video.